Hi everybody, this is going to be a video showing how to bootstrap a completely blank compact flashcard using just the default workbook that comes on the My ID 2. Uh, for this, you can use it to load MyDOS on the card and get it going, and you won't need any uh, external drives or you know, SIO to PC. Now, everything you need is included in the default workbook um, that comes on the cartridge. So what I've got here is I've got a one gigabyte smart flash card and this I've already formatted in Windows just to make sure it was completely erased and there was nothing on it. So we're going to turn on the Atari here and we will get the uh, Max Flash Studio boot menu. And the first thing we want to do here is we want to partition the card so that we have a place to put my dots on it. So we're, to do that, we're going to start uh, Mr. Atari's MyBIOS software. And since there aren't any partitions uh, right now, we're going to press Option, Select, and Start at the same time to enter the uh, setup menu. Hold those down. Now, it has uh, turned on the card, which you can see here. Sorry for the shakiness. The green light on the interface means that the card is inserted and that the software has turned on the power to the card. Uh, there's a blue light on the other side, uh, which you will see blinking during uh, actual access to the card. So, we have no, nothing on the card. It's blank. Uh, the first thing we want to do is initialize a card and just choose I and very quickly initialize it using the auto function and now it's recognized the parameters for the card but there are still no partitions so we want to make one hard drive size partition and we do that using the M function make we're going to uh, put this in slot A it says drive number but it's like a system where you can assign partition letters to drive numbers later so we're going to select A we're going to make it 65535 which is the largest size for a uh, hard disk size partition, and choose D for double density. And we'll give it a name, we'll call it MyDOS. All right, and that has created a uh, partition in slot A, but we haven't assigned it to a drive number. So we want to go ahead and push C, change uh, partition A to drive one. Okay, now partition one is set up to boot. A partition A is set up to boot as drive number one but there's nothing on it right now. So we're going to go ahead and exit, push escape, and we do want to save our configuration. And the My BIOS software is just displaying a rainbow pattern. Basically means it saw the card and there was no bootable partition. I think that's what it means. So what we're going to do, we want to load MyDOS on there. We're going to turn off the computer, turn it back on. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use this entry here, which I put in the default workbook. It's the MyDOS 453 Rescue Loader which will basically load my DOS from the cartridge very quickly, um, regardless of what's already running. But to do that, we need the MyBIOS software actually running. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the MyBIOS software, press Enter. Now, you see there's an option at the bottom of the screen that says press Shift to reboot cartridge. Now, in the MyBIOS software, what that really means is press Shift to reboot the cartridge and keep the MyBIOS operating system in memory. So we're going to press Shift, which will kick us back into the menu, but my BIOS is actually now running in memory. So now we're going to select the MyDOS Rescue Loader. And as you can see, my BIOS, my DOS started correctly from the cartridge. Um, and do a director of drive 1. It sees the drive. So let me see. As you can see when I press 1 here, you can see it blinks on the, on the interface. So, but my DOS is not set up to recognize the card yet, and there are no DOS files on it. So that's what we, that's what we wanted to get here for, so that we could uh, put those on there. So we want to configure the drive, press O, drive number one. Uh, we do not want to remove it. The drive is configurable, and it is a high capacity drive. And we want to set the size to the same size we set in the partition. So that's 65535 sectors. And now at the top of the screen, you'll see it says disks 1H. We want to format the drive. Yes. Oops. Oh, just to format one. Sorry, I'm looking at the screen of my iPad here. And then Y. Okay, as you can see, it's. Oop, there it is, blinking away. 
formatting the drive. And then we want to write DOS files to it. All right. And now the partition is set up and DOS files are written. Now I'm just going to cycle the power and go through the regular boot up through my BIOS just to see if it's working. Select my BIOS and press any key it should boot from partition one. There you go. And that uh, little delay in the middle is it's actually looking for a, a drive two and there isn't anything else hooked up right now. But that's, oops, that's it. And that is what you should do with it if you have a completely blank card and you need to get something loaded on it.